All right, Dad, come on over here. So before I teach you how to power clean, I need to teach you how to deadlift, okay? The deadlift is a pull, the power clean is a pull, okay? So we need to teach you how to pick something up off the ground first. And then when I teach you the power clean, I'm gonna teach you from the top down. Once we get down to the bottom position, it'll all make sense because you already know how to deadlift, okay? So I'm gonna teach you how to deadlift with five steps, okay? So first off, before we even get to step one, your stance width, your feet width, needs to be close enough that you can grab the barbell with a vertical arm placement when viewing from the front. Uh, and we're gonna point our toes out just slightly, all right? So, step one, go ahead and step up to the barbell and place the middle of your foot directly underneath the barbell. That's gonna put the barbell about an inch away from your shins. Now, look down at the barbell and make note of where that bar is on your shoes, and you're gonna refer to that with every single rep. Step two, you're gonna bend over and place your hands on the barbell without bending your knees and without worrying about keeping your back flat. Okay, go ahead. Step three, you're gonna bring your shins to the barbell. Slowly, stop. Step four, squeeze your chest up. Harder than that, squeeze your chest up, don't drop your hips. Step five, drag the bar up your body. Good, set it down. Step back. We're gonna do four more of those, okay? Step one, midfoot. Step two, hands. Shins. Get off your heels. Chest. Drag. Good. Step back. Make sure on this rep you don't pull the barbell to your shins. Leave the barbell where it's at. Bring your shins to the bar. All right, Dak. So go ahead and grab the barbell with a normal deadlift grip. Stand up. Okay, so we're gonna use the same deadlift stance. Okay, feet are the exact same, toes pointed out slightly, good. Now, we're gonna change your grip width. We're gonna widen it, about one hand width. Okay, so go ahead and take that placement. A little wider, good. The reason we're widening it is because this facilitates the rack position. Okay, so not it's facilitating the rack position, not the pull. Um, and this is a pretty good width. For a press? No, a press should be closer than that. Oh, really? Press should be vertical forearms. This is wider than your press grip. Oh, okay. okay. So this is the hang position. All right. During this hang position, your arms need to be straight. Your elbows are straight. Okay. Your elbows are locked out. Your arms are straight. Long, straight arms. Okay. okay? At no point are you ever going to bend your elbows. All right. And pick and move the bar with your arms. Okay. okay? Now what I want you to do is just pick it up to your shoulders. I'm going to show you the rack position. Okay. Bring the elbows up a little bit more, a little bit more. That looks pretty good. So the elbows up allows the barbell to rest on your anterior deltoid. Okay. And it picks it up off the collarbones. Hands are good. You're not actually holding the weight in your hands. Right. You're holding it on your shoulders in this rack position. So lightening the grip like this is perfectly fine. Elbows up and even in slightly. That's it right there. Now, I know it's uncomfortable, hold it for a second. What you're gonna do now is drop the barbell without letting go of the barbell. Drop it down your hips. Good, just like that. Okay, so that was the rack position. This is the hang position. Okay. Next, we're gonna talk about the jumping position. Okay. okay. I want you to unlock your hips and your knees. So bend at the knees, there you go. Now bend at the hips. Come forward a little bit, shoulders should come over the bar. A little less than that. Bring the bar up just a little tiny bit. Okay, that's good right there. So this position on your thighs is where the barbell is going to touch every single time you jump. Okay. okay? So remember that position. Okay. Every time you pull from the floor, once the barbell touches that spot on your thighs, that's where you're going to jump. Get, go ahead and get back in position. Shoulders a little bit more over the bar. That's pretty good. Balanced over midfoot, not on your heels. Rotate the elbows out. Rotate. Nope. 
like that. So they're pointing out. Okay. Your elbows are pointing out to the sides. Okay, push your knees back a little bit. There you go. Now get over the bar a little bit more. That's pretty good there. You're gonna look out this way. That looks pretty good. Now, what I want you to do from here, this is called a jumping position, okay? With straight elbows, long straight arms, you're going to jump as high as you can in the air. Okay. Okay? Ready? Yep. Jump. Okay, again. Jump straight up. Get your shoulders a little bit more over the bar. Knees back. Knees back. So when I say knees back, I want you to extend the knees a little oh, bit. Okay. There you go. Like that. A little less. Bend your knees a little. There you go, right there. Okay. Jump. Good. Again. Okay. Look out a little bit more. Jump. Good, one more time. And this time I want you to make sure that the balance is over the middle of your foot, okay. not on your heels, okay? In the jump or in before the jump? When, before you jump. Okay. okay, we're gonna do two more. Okay. Ready, look out a little bit more. Jump. Good, a little harder. Jump higher. Okay. Jump. Good, good, okay. Back to that jumping position. Balance over midfoot. Get off your heels. There you go. Now, you're going to jump and rack the barbell. Does that make sense? Yeah, With straight that. elbows. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Okay, it's fine. Ready, jump. Not bad. Back down. Not bad. Midfoot. Jump. Elbows. More. Good. Okay. Again. Good. Elbows up more. There you go. That's it right there. That's pretty good though. Set it down. Okay. That's pretty good. That does feel better. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is get into the jumping position. Not yet, but you're going to get in the jumping position and then we're going to take it down below the kneecap. Okay. So once you're at your kneecap, same deadlift mechanics, same pulling mechanics apply. Shoulders over the bar, okay. okay? Your shoulders need to be over the bar when the barbell's at your knees. Okay. Does that make sense? And then you're going to slowly slide, slowly slide the bar up your thighs. Once you're in that jumping position, you're not gonna pause, you're gonna jump okay. and rack it, just like we've been. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, let's see it. Good, go ahead. Get off your heels. On you, slowly back up. Good. Elbows a little bit more aggressive. Step back. It should be right at your jumping position. So get in the jumping position. Bend the knees a little tiny bit more. Get your shoulders over the bar. Okay. Shoulders over the bar. A little more. A little more. Drop the bar, straight arms. That's where the barbell is going to touch each time. Okay. okay. That's where the barbell is going to touch. Go ahead, back down to the knees. Just below the knees. Get off your heels. Reverse. Not bad. Again. Knees and hips. Get your shoulders over the bar. Get off your heels, Dag. That's pretty good. Nice job. One more, just like that. So what you're going to do is, right now you're in the hang position. You're going to get into the jumping position when I say, and pause. And then when I say go, you're gonna go down to your knees. And then you're gonna go all the way down to mid shin at the same height that the bar would be if there were plates on the bar. Okay. If there were standard Olympic plates on the bar, okay? okay. Does that make sense? Should it feel like a deadlift? Yep. As soon as you get down in the bottom position, your, it should be, the power clean mechanics should be the same as the deadlift mechanics. Okay. Your shoulders are over the bar, your hips are high, right? 
Your shins are at a very slight angle. Everything we just covered with the deadlift, okay? All right, ready? Jumping position. Shoulders over the bar a bit more. Straight arms. Keep going down. Keep lowering it. Bring your knees forward a little bit. Barbell over midfoot. A little bit lower. Good. Now slowly come back up. Jump and catch. Again. Straight elbows. Pause. Pause. Just come up a little bit. Good. Elbows. Long straight arms. Knees need to come forward. Nice. Good work. That's good. Yeah. Nice job. You want me to go back up again? Right. What we're going to do is we're going to stand up. You're going to do one rep from the jumping position. Here. Then you're going to do one rep at the knee. Oh, I get you. Okay. Well, then, then you're going to do one rep going down, touch, back up, there. Okay. Okay? Yes. So it's a total of three reps. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Drag. One from the jumping position at your pace. Okay. Elbows. Down to the hip. Hang position. Now to the knee. Get over the bar. Shoulders over the bar. Good. This next one, I want you to jump higher. Okay. Stop trying to get under the bar quicker. Okay. Jump higher. rack on the way down. And you still want, you want me to go to the ground or you want me to do? This one, I want you to go to the ground, yeah. Okay. Big chest, elbows. Bend the knees, bend the knees, bend the knees. Midfoot. Well done. Set it down. I think I faked it too. <laughs> you did a little bit of the donkey kick. I, think I guess I, uh, think I faked it just now. Yeah. Jump. Okay? Don't bring the heels to your butt. Just think about jumping. Okay? So you're going to do three reps. Okay. Set it down each time. And you're going to approach the bar as if you were doing three singles. Okay? Okay. So three from the floor? Or from the floor. Stand up first and then go? Nope. Okay. From the floor. Okay? So you're going to walk through that five-step deadlift setup that we just talked about. Get into a good deadlift position, same as the power clean, and then execute the power clean just as you were. Okay. So step one, midfoot. Grip. Shins. Chest. Keep your hips up. Good. Back down. Again. Okay. Here's what happened on that last one. You brought your shoulders behind the bar sooner than you should have. On the way up. So once you were at your knees, your shoulders were behind the bar. And that's why you finished that rep like this. Okay. So you went here, you were already, your shoulders were behind the bar. And so you pulled and the bar came back against you. Okay. You need to be over the barbell for longer. Okay? Shoulders are here, then you jump up. Okay? okay? Let's do one more. Okay. Keep your shoulders over the bar for longer than you like. Don't move the barbell. Shins, chest.
Good. Jump a little bit harder next time. But your shoulders are over the bar. Well done. And this time, I want you to speed it up off the floor a little bit. Okay? Don't get ahead of yourself. Just a little bit faster. Chest. Don't drop your hips. Bring your hips up a little bit. There you go. Well done. Again. Chest up. Pretty good. Nice job. That was good. So many things to think about. One more. You're doing a good job. You have to keep your shoulders over the bar for usually, for most people, longer than they like to. Okay? okay? And to start, your hips have to be higher than you'd probably like to. You've probably been deadlifting. I haven't seen your deadlift uh, technique up until now. And you've probably been deadlifting with your hips too low. Um, so the yeah, deadlift. Not as, not as high as you were having to do it down. Yeah. So we want to. The barbell has to be pulled over the middle of your foot, and it has to be pulled in a straight line. So we need to put you in a position that allows that to happen, okay? And by sitting your butt down because you want to, we don't care what you want to do. All we care about is mechanical efficiency. So we have to get you in a position where you can pull the barbell over midfoot in a straight line. That is how you deadlift, okay? Through that five-step deadlift setup, that'll get you in the correct position. And the, the power clean is no different than the deadlift. You're just racking it on your shoulders. It's a sub-maximal pull, right? So it shouldn't be treated differently with your setup. Yeah, the, that's a, a cue that a lot of people say is heels, heels, heels. Uh, I think it's squats because, you know, with the squats, my biggest yeah. issue has always been going on my toes. Uh -huh. And so I think because of, I do a lot of squats. If, if an individual has a problem with going under their toes, then telling them heels might help because it will pull them back to midfoot. But to tell someone blatantly that you should be driving through your heels, weight should be on your heels, is wrong. Right, it's, supposed to be the it's supposed to be over the middle of your foot. The weight is evenly dispersed throughout your full foot. Not in your toes, not in your heels, midfoot. Right. So the cue might help if you're on your toes. I think it's I was on but my toes so much. Yeah, yeah. Don't sit your hips down, pick them up. Squeeze the chest up. Good. One more. <laughs>